Hello! Today we'll be showing you how to replace the keyboard assembly in a Samsung XE303C Chromebook. First, you will need a few tools. For starters, it is recommended that you use an anti-static mat to avoid electrostatic discharge, which can damage electronic parts. You will need a small, magnetic tip Phillips head screwdriver. A pair of tweezers may come in handy for manipulating small parts. A spudger will also be useful for this replacement. You can use metal or plastic, whichever you prefer. First, you want to remove the five visible bottom cover screws. You will also need to remove the four screws from underneath the four rubber feet. The tweezers may be useful in removing the feet as they are sticky with adhesive. Once all the screws are removed, you will use your spudger to carefully pry the bottom cover loose from the keyboard assembly. As you go around the perimeter of the case, it should become loose and easy to remove. Next, you want to disconnect the battery cable from the motherboard. Now, you will remove the six battery screws. You can now remove the battery. Next, you will disconnect the trackpad cable from the motherboard. Now, you will disconnect the keyboard cable from the motherboard. Next, you will disconnect the speaker cable from the motherboard. Now, you can disconnect the LCD cable from the motherboard. Next, you will disconnect the two Wi-Fi antenna cables from the motherboard. Now, you will disconnect the charging port cable from the motherboard. Now that all the cables have been disconnected from the motherboard, you can remove all five screws holding the motherboard in place. You can now remove the motherboard. There are two speakers, each held in by two screws. Remove the screws and then carefully detach the wires from the assembly. You can then remove the speakers. The next step will be to remove the two hinge screws from each of the two hinges. Now, carefully pry and remove the hinge cover. Carefully remove the remaining wires from the assembly. The keyboard assembly is now removed. 
The first step in the installation of your replacement keyboard assembly will be to set it into place and line up the hinges. Be sure not to catch any of the loose wires in the hinges. Next, you will replace the two hinge screws in each of the two hinges. Next, you will replace the two speakers and replace the two screws in each of them. You can now replace the hinge cover by snapping it back into place. Carefully feed the wires back through the assembly. You can now put the motherboard back into place and replace the five motherboard screws. Now, you can reconnect the charging port cable to the motherboard. Next, you can reconnect the two Wi-Fi antenna cables to the motherboard. Now, you can reconnect the LCD cable to the motherboard. Next, you will reconnect the speaker cable to the motherboard. Now, you can reconnect the keyboard cable into the motherboard. Next, you will reconnect the trackpad cable into the motherboard. Now that the motherboard is back in place and reconnected, you can put the battery back into place and replace all six battery screws. Once the screws are replaced, you can reconnect the battery cable. You can reattach the bottom cover by snapping it back into place. The final step will be to replace all nine bottom cover screws and the four rubber feet. You have now successfully replaced your keyboard assembly. Nice job.